Hello there, nerds. I often see people say that Wizard is near impossible with his starting gear at level 1. So today, let's walk through playing level 1 Wizard, and maybe I can show you that it's just your approach. First, let's change our perk from Mana Surge to Quick Chant. We don't have gear yet, so it's not our first priority. Quick Chant will help us get spells off quicker, which is going to keep us alive more. Next, let's get rid of Slow and take Zap. Zap is one of the best spells in our setup. It's hit scan, it does good damage, scales well, and it recharges fast with rest. Let's drop Meditation and take Arcane Shield. This might seem a little crazy to you, but a lot of PvE can be beaten with your staff and we don't need to rush to clear and burn all of our spells. We want to select the crypts. Yes, you can go to goblin caves or ruins, but the mob density in many rooms on those maps will make your life hard as a new player. Most rooms in the crypts only have two or three. First, let's spawn all these mummies. You might be tempted to use magic on them, but don't. Mummies are not very dangerous. In fact, any enemy that's not very dangerous to you and you can simply walk away from, you shouldn't use your magic on. Gather them up and let them hit each other, doing most of the work for you. The skeleton mage in there is dead, telling us that there are players in there, but we do really want the loot in there, so we'll have to be careful. This is Skeleton Axeman. While you can beat this guy in melee with just your staff, as a new player, or if you're having lag, I don't recommend it. So let's just blow him up with magic missile headshots. Bait his attack, turn, and run away. Then we get plenty of time to cast. Now it's not necessary to do that on the normal version because they're quite slow. But for the red ones or the black ones, you might want more time to cast. Looks like we got ourselves a fresh fighter. Normally, we want to avoid PvP as a low-level wizard. Our perks are pretty important, and fighting with a staff is not optimal. But that doesn't mean we can't win. First, we use our blue potion, then we arcane shield. Normally, we would want to use invisibility and flank him. However, he doesn't know that I know that he knows that I know that I'm going to give him the wizard shotgun and I know that he doesn't know that I know why we bring arcane shield and use our potions. And that's all there is to it. Look at that, we didn't even take damage. Now we put our back to the corner and scare away the rogue.
Skeleton archers are another mob you want to use your magic for. If you aren't confident in dodging the arrows, or the game is lagging, use Arcane Shield to block one of their arrows. Usually you can just blast them before they can even fire. And look at that. We found the rogue in the free portal. God forbid it bite you. Don't let it bite you. Let spider bite you. Spider bite. Hurt. Hurt spider bite. A spider bite hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Spider bit me. to loot up. Always get your escape first and then get your loot. We made plenty of gold that round and got to kill our first game as a naked level 1 wizard with a magic staff. The spawn might have been a little lucky, but it really is as simple as that. Now, we'll buy ourselves a spell book for later, some supplies, and some gear that will help us. If you see rawhide gloves, buy a bunch of them for your bank. They will give one will and one knowledge, which will increase our damage and our casting speed respectively. We always want to look for gear that gives the stats you see on the screen now. As a bonus, here's how you handle the room with a double skeleton spawn right outside the door. We got a skeleton spearman, which many players struggle with, but it's no match for the level 1 wizard. And with that, 
you've got a basic grasp on how to play wizard. If you have any further questions or need further advice, leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.